So as head of product, I sit down with the executive team and my product managers, and we try and understand what the core focus and objectives for those individuals are as a team of stakeholders. During that four to six week period, we interview, we understand what the big objectives for those guys are, and then we start to pull together a recommendation for how those teams should move forward and how we can achieve those objectives. So we really try and understand the hypotheses between every single feature, and we try and get buy-in and facilitate that conversation across all of the stakeholders so we can then pull together our roadmap for the following four to six week period. There's always a compromise to be made. Um, depending on how you manage your stakeholders will depend on how easily you can find that compromise. We ask, what does the consumer want? Then we work out how this works for editorial and commercial. But it's also about how you structure your teams. We have a, co a commercial product function and we have an editorial product function. We have weekly senior digital stakeholder meetings where that roadmap is discussed. You know, new requirements are aired, um, and that's where we find the compromise. That's, that's, that's the time of the week where you know, we discuss about what's the best compromise. Personally for me, um, I think I'm extremely lucky. We have an open-minded you know, team uh, of digital uh, people, and uh, everything that we do must have a commercial value. So for me, it's all about transparency. With your product managers and your development team, being transparent about capabilities and capacity, being transparent about what the hypotheses of a particular feature or epic may be and the value that it brings to the business, and being transparent about those results. So for every feature we go on to develop, we actually do pre-validation, understanding its performance and potential value to the business. And then once that feature is released, we're actually very, very transparent about when that feature is going to land. Do we need to keep any clients happy? Do we need to adjust any dates? And then when that feature lands, actually understanding the value that it's brought to the business. The majority of our heavy lifting is done through partners we use. Uh, as such, I would say that the number one characteristic for us is trust. Um, and personally, I believe it's you know, the key to every great team. The second one for me is ability to adapt. So you know, we use agile methodologies. Um, we work on a continuous improvement cycle and it's not always the same people on the same project. So we need everyone to adapt to cross-functional teams, building the product that is better than we currently have, but by no means perfect. And three, the willingness to down tools at any moment for a different priority. And the last one for me is, you know, everyone needs to be a team player. Uh, as our product director says, networks beat silos um, and superheroes don't win team games. So, yeah, we need to make sure that everyone is collaborating with each other.